bro, I can't breathe. <laughs> Holy crap. So I've just finished watching episode 8, the season finale of The Mandalorian. And this is the emotion that I wanted to feel from watching The Rise of Skywalker. But no, screw that movie. That movie is trash compared to this masterpiece of a season finale. Oh man, I am... I'm pretty sure my pants are dripping at this point. <laughs> but holy crap. Um, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. If you haven't seen The Mandalorian, do yourself a favor and watch it. It's all available on Disney Plus now. It's only eight episodes, about 30, 40 minutes each. Do yourself a favor and watch it. Even if you're not into Star Wars, um, and for some reason you happen to click on this video, watch it. You don't need to know much about the Star Wars lore to really enjoy this, um, but it really helps, especially in this episode. Okay, spoilers guys, I'm gonna start talking about it in three, two, one, go. Wow, so, so many things to, to talk about. First and foremost, the intro, hilarious. Like, the little banter between the stormtroopers, that was cracking me up. And then, like, every time they'd hit Baby Yoda, my heart broke so much. <laughs> and then the, uh, f the freaking droid. Oh, man. The way he just, like, came in there, guns blazing, taking stormtroopers down left and right. I'm like, yeah, this isn't protecting. <laughs> this is outright killing. Um, oh, man. Seriously, this whole episode was great. Uh, we finally got to see the Mandalorian take off his helmet. Uh, and reveal Pedro Pascal, a.k.a. <laughs> um, I forgot his name, but he was in Game of Thrones. Uh, the Sand Viper, or whatever his name was. Um, so that was pretty cool, actually seeing his face. Uh, we got a little bit more backstory into it. Uh, we saw that he was actually saved by the Mandalorians when like the super battle droids were attacking his town or whatever. Oh man, I, I, I'm just like still jittery from how awesome this episode is. Uh, before we get more into the episode, um, it was really cool how, like, episode 7, Baby Yoda used force healing, and then we saw Rey being able to do force healing in The Rise of Skywalker, so I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. But, man, this episode was, whew. I'm just gonna skip all the way to the end, because that's what I want to talk about. First and foremost, oh, jeez, like, him getting his jetpack and his signet, that was really cool, because they kind of alluded it to it in, like, prior episodes, and, uh, that fight between the freaking, well, first of all, the sacrifice of the robot, that hit, because it's, like, the Mandalorian, he doesn't like droids at all, and then, like, the, the freaking IG unit, he was like, yeah, I could tell you're sad, I could feel it in your voice. And, and like, oh shit, like, yeah, he's, uh, turning a new leaf. Character development. Ah, fuck. <laughs> fuck, Rise of Skywalker, man. This is literally what I wanted to feel coming out of the theater. Like, it had character development, you really felt for the characters. Even though they're, like, the main characters, um, you still feel like they're in danger. Not freaking Rey, who, like, you know she's not gonna die, or Finn, or Poe. Man, ah. Uh, uh... Taika Waititi, I think he directed this. Or at least he was in it. He was playing the IG unit. Really great. A lot of callbacks to like the Clone Wars and the comics and stuff like that. And the end... Whew, that little fight scene when Mando goes up in the air with his jetpack and like blows up the... I forgot what it's called. The TIE Fighter or whatever it is. Oh, man. And then at the very end, I'm like... Oh shit, is that a fucking lightsaber? And not just that, the fucking dork saber! Dude, I was like out of my seat jumping. I was like fanboying out. I'm like, no fucking way. Whew, I need to take a breather. This, I'm, I'm still on that high. Like, this is why I love Star Wars. Like, season two of The Mandalorian is gonna be just as hype because. The fucking Mandalorian has to find a Jedi 
He has to find the Jedi because that's what he has to do now. He has to take the child, Baby Yoda, to a fucking Jedi, which is just going to be so awesome. Which Jedi is it going to be? Because like, obviously this is after like Order 66 and like the Clone Wars and all that stuff. So there ain't much Jedi out there. There's a few. So it's like, who will take care of the baby? Because, um, I mean, the, the Mandalorian chick with like the smithing armor and all that she was like yeah you either got to take this to you know the planet of its people or to the i think they called them sorcerers which is pretty funny because they could use the force and all that and they're not aware of the force so when they move things with like telepathy or their mind they think it's sorcery uh it's funny but i mean it, it's kind of true if you don't know anything about the force then yeah that's what it kind of looks like so, Mandalorian and the child are going to be searching the galaxy for Jedi. That's really fucking badass. And not just that, but we're bound to see some fucking lightsaber battles, seeing as how... I forget what his name, like... Moss something? I don't know what his name... The dude with the fucking Darksaber at the end. Uh, you can see Darksaber versus Jedi. Lightsaber action. Whew. I can already sense the epicness. But, um, yeah, 20 out of fucking 10, this episode made my day, and it's barely like 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna be fanboying out the rest of this day, like, fuck Rise of Skywalker. This is what, where it's at. I might just rewatch the whole damn series, just so I could, like, tie everything together and be like, oh yeah, this makes sense here, here, and here. Oh man. So again... Uh, watch this if you haven't. I kind of just spoiled everything for you, but like I said, spoilers are in the thumbnail. Spoiler warning in the beginning of the video, so don't say I didn't warn you. Whew. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this. Um, a lot of callbacks to like different things, because like, if he has the dark saber, um, uh, if you've seen the Clone Wars, the animated series, like, there's a whole like you could a whole bunch of questions as to what happened and. Because, I mean, Darth Maul had the Darksaber at one point, and the Mandalorian... Well, I don't want to get into all that. That's a whole other video. But I don't even know if I'll even talk about it. This is supposed to be Warhammer 40k vid <laughs> channel. But, yeah, I just wanted to give my thoughts out. Like, I just want to talk about it. Because it's so badass. So badass. But, um, yeah. Let me know your thoughts about it. What do you think is going to happen in Season 2? Um, with Mando trying to find the Jedi Order or what's left of it, so they could train the child. Do you think the Mandalorian will die before then, or, like, that'll be his, like, dying wish as, like, he holds off... I forget his name, the dude with the Darksaber, as, like, the Jedi take the child and they leave or something. Uh, ooh, this, this has so many, like, different storylines they can take. Like, will Obi-Wan Kenobi be in this? Um, I don't know. It's uh, crazy. And then what other characters from like the remnants of the Empire will show up? Or will we see the creation of the First Order? I don't know. But again, let me know your thoughts below. And we'll go from there, I guess. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm just super hyped. I guess the only things that I could say I didn't enjoy was the whole no i i can't i can't i, I liked everything about it i was a hundred percent immersed in this episode I, I don't have anything to complain about it um fights were pretty badass i mean yeah i guess the stormtroopers could have like assaulted them quicker instead of said oh i'll give you till nightfall no just fucking, just fucking shoot them like they're they're trapped inside that little like hut thing but yeah, I mean, they're stormtroopers. They they suck. <laughs> As you can see, they couldn't even hit that little, like, can. Uh, and it was just hilarious how they're like, Oh, well, we can't tell you if you guys can come into the city because he killed the officer. <laughs> uh, perfect. Hilarious, heartfelt moments, utter badassery, and just the little, like, Easter eggs that popped up. Perfect. Whew. Okay, that felt good. All right, guys. I'll leave you with that. <laughs> Thanks for hearing my little ramblings. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.
Oh, <laughs> <laughs>